Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. I've been working hard on this event. I've been grinding and grinding this event. Every time I get energy, I've been using this team and skipping in this mission to get these souls. And finally, we've hit seven. Now we can use some of them summon tickets that we got from playing hyperdimensional co-op. There we go, we got enough for one. See there, we gotta reach a thousand. I'm also use Kronos because it's not like we're ever gonna get an LF Vegeta or anything like that. All right, now we're getting there. <laughs> All right, so to earn these tickets for this, we're gonna go over to the uh, hyperdimensional co-op in a second. Because in these missions, it's just going to tell you you get tickets from it. So we're going to go down the bottom one. Because it is the easiest one. And let's jump into it. <sighs> the matchmaking for this hasn't been too bad lately. Like It didn't drop out too much. I like one or two where I lost connection to the, the party. <sighs> uh, so, this one's pretty easy. Break his shield as quick as possible and then lay the damage in. Almost done already. Done. Easy. <coughs> I forgot to check before I did that if I had the uh, the bonus drop rate team on, because that's going to come in handy for this, I think. Like if you want the tickets, because um. I don't know, I'll find the, the news for it in a second, I'll show you. There we are, alright. Alright, so this team here. Plus two, plus two, plus two, yeah. They're all going to be bonus drop rate. And this team up here, they're all going to be bonus, like, ability. We want the drop rate. Obviously, we're trying to get tickets. So you don't have to actually personally use these characters. They have to be in your support, it says. So we're going to go make a team and check they're all in the support. Looks like most of them are. I'm going to just change out this... Uh, Kaioken Goku for the bending Kamehameha Goku. Alright. So, as you see with that team, now there's a bonus every time you finish. That's just gonna basically help you get tickets. So then it's going to be like, for every whatever you do, 
for the mission is I think like every five completed you're going to unlock 300 tickets which is one summons and on top of that with the bonus you're gonna get like enough for another summon every now and again during that it's just gonna help you out Right, now we're 380 of 1,000. So yeah, as you can see there, every five you do. Alright, so I edited out all the fights and that, because we don't... We don't need to see me do this a hundred times. That would take forever. <laughs> However, we also did one of Goku's Senkai's while we're doing this guy, which is cool. That helps. Got another 300 tickets. And again, skip forward five later. That helps. And again, another 300 tickets. Now, I think there's like 9,000 something in this entire event that you can collect. So if you go to the page on the you can just sit there and whack out five games. Five games a day if you wanted. Five games, do a summons, go do another five games. How strong do you want him? Me, I'm just going to get him Zenkai, and then if I feel like it, I'll continue. But as you probably know with me, I grind in so many other games that I don't have time for all this. <coughs> Excuse me. It's another 300 tickets. Uh, let's go pull. That sucks, nothing special. <laughs> Boosted. Man, I liked using this character before this. I'm gonna love using this character now. That's so cool. Uh, there we go, we got the Zenkai border. And we can progress soul boosting. Thanks, King Kai. <laughs> oh, pretty sure I'm gonna need a lot of uh, the <coughs> the Zenkai materials. Yeah. If you didn't know. You can exchange normal purple ones in the shop for them. So that's what I'm going to be doing to unlock all that. Where is it? Recycling. There we go. 
Uh, so yeah, you, you trade normal souls for Zenkai souls here. So if you wanted to, you could go skip 10 energies of purple and then come back and buy a couple. Anyway, thanks for watching.